All right, it's New Orleans Bowl Week interview with Raging Cajun linebacker senior Trey Grigne. Trey, it's um, been around for two New Orleans Bowls already, but you, you know, one year I think you were, it was a transfer rule. Next year you weren't as involved, and now you're a very big part of this defense. So how jacked are you knowing that, like, I'm going into this game and I'm going to be playing a lot of snaps? Well, um, it, it really sucked to sit around those first two, man. Uh, actually, the second one, I tore my ACL in, I think, week eight against New Mexico State and was just down there pretty much to watch. But uh, re really looking forward to Saturday, man, and being a part of this, this bowl win. That, uh, it, it'll, it'll be big for the Cajun, so really looking forward to it, man. What's been, uh, I guess, the, the, the lowest point of this season and the highest point of this season? Oh, uh, I, I guess you can say the lowest point was after we lost to New Mexico State. I uh, really didn't see that one, I guess, coming. But I, I think it also uh, allowed us to, to take a, a different a different approach to the rest of the season. Uh, it, it really made us uh, uh, want a lot more than, 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 and realize that, I guess, it, you know, we wouldn't get any handouts this season. And, and um, the highest point, I, I, I'd probably say, was a win after Georgia Southern. We really feel like we... we felt like we got things going and uh I think that's what got us to this point we have right now you know your cousins with uh, running back Elijah McGuire so t tell us a little something about Eli that uh, that we may not know maybe a little uh I say dirt you know something maybe fun or funny <laughs> I mean it's, it's nothing really much about the guy he, he, you know people look at what he does on Saturdays and they all just like amazed and you probably think he's some guy that that's you know 24 7 talking about football but bro, he walks around the locker room laughs jokes and clowns and I, I guess you know that's just part of his game he's one of the most relaxed dudes I've ever seen you know off the field compared to what he does on Saturdays is, bro. He's just, just always laughing, having fun, clowning. That. That's him. Uh, another one of your cousins used to play uh, football for the Raging Cajuns. He's actually kind of becoming a personality on our radio station. And that's that's former Cajun wide receiver James Butler. So you got you got to give us some dirt on I him. Mean, he's not on the team anymore. It's all safe. <laughs> I mean, he thinks he could fish a little bit, man. Ever since he got done football, you know, he, he's kind of kind of think, you know. Kind of trying to become a little bit of a fisherman, so you know that's what he's doing on his spare time. It looks like his dad and himself, and uh, my grandfather and my dad. So I'll be looking to get get, get back on the boat and give those guys a little competition in that, in that aspect of, you know, things too. So, all right, Trey, we're gonna do a, a New Orleans Bowl quick six. So just six quick questions about New Orleans, and uh, we'll let it rip. What's the best thing about New Orleans? Uh, the environment, um, being at home, man. So uh, that, that's that's the best thing about New Orleans. Uh, definitely what I experienced last time. So most definitely. What's the first thing you think of when you hear New Orleans Bowl? Um, kind of think of the Superdome. Superdome, uh, not nice venue to play in. So. All right. Best thing about the city of New Orleans? Uh, the city. Um. Uh, I'm from the outskirts, man. I'm from, I'm from the small towns of Louisiana, so I'm not a real big city guy. Uh, the biggest thing for me is it's closest to home. You know, it's the closest to home we could be. Family could come watch the bowl game, so I guess that's the best thing about the city. I know you like to hunt and fish. I know you like some good food, you know, down south food. What's your favorite sort of New Orleans food, New Orleans restaurant, something like that along those lines? Oh, man, when it comes to food, I'm a red beans and rice, fried fish kind of guy. You know, that's, that's, that's me. All right, lastly, Trey, I want you to fill in the blank for us. The winner of the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl will be blank because of blank. Uh, we'll be the Raging Cajuns because we're going to play. We're going to play the Horace. Trey, thanks for the time, man. Best of luck this week. Thank you.